I'm going to show you how to have closed networks of trams, trains and monorails without a direct physical connection to a depot where vehicles usually spawn from. But we are still going to make it functional, we are going to put vehicles on those closed lines. So for trams, I have this vanilla tram depot and by default we have the tracks going inside the building where the vehicles spawn from. Watch what happens if I'm going to take move it and I'm just going to take the nodes and by holding alt I'm going to delete the tracks from inside the depot. Right now the depot is going to be broken, it's not going to spawn any more vehicles, but watch what happens when I'm going to turn the building so that at least partially the building is going to kind of overlap with the adjacent networks where we do have those tracks. It might take a bit of fiddling, especially with the vanilla depot. So right now it seems it's not doing anything. So let's just do, uh, you know, let's just overdo it just to, you know, point out the principle. And now you can see that it started spawning the vehicles again, right? So you don't need to have those default tracks inside in order to actually have the vehicles. Now for the vanilla depot, that's obviously a bit useless but you can for example download this uh, cube or block service tram depot which was made by cosmic cube keeper and you can just place it anywhere you can take move it holding alt delete that inside building depot or depot track move it towards the track again so that it overlaps with the actual network see and the building is immediately going to start spawning vehicles so all it takes is to have the building close to the tracks and obviously it can be hidden in some kind of buildings near the tracks or near some avenues where you have the trams or whatever it doesn't really matter and you can also make it elevated and have it on the same elevation as the tracks doesn't matter it's even going to spawn vehicles on the elevated segments Something similar can be applied even to trains. So for example, I have this closed loop in here and I have these station tracks. So what I'm going to take is, uh, for example, the station made by Titan, but doesn't really matter. I'm just going to take the Titan's uh, module station because it doesn't require a road, but uh, whatever kind of station will do. And you can just place it anywhere, you know, outside of the network, kind of close by to the station tracks. And then I'm just going to go into the uh, line again and I'm just going to change the depot into this particular station that I placed here and watch what happens. See? And immediately on the adjacent station track, it's going to spawn the train. This is, this is going to be super useful if you are detailing your own stations and you don't want to actually use these kinds of buildings. So again, they might be hidden in some kind of a station building or whatever. Similar situation is for monorails. And I'm just going to take the monorail station, the vanilla station. I'm going to place it here on this uh, particular street because this one requires to have a road. Now I'm just going to go here. I'm going to click the monorail station. I already have a bunch of vehicles queued for the line and look at that. They already started spawning at this station track. Now it's important now to note that when you plop down these buildings, these station buildings, they have their own station track. And watch what happens when I'm now going to move the building so that it's not going to be right next to an existing station track. It's basically going to stop spawning the vehicles unless you're going to do the same thing as with the tram depot and that is delete the station track. Uh, not just the not just the pillar underneath it of course but uh, the station track as a whole. I'm ho also holding alt so I can manipulate the networks inside the building and now watch this piece of track right here. It's supposed to start spawning the vehicles obviously after some time time. There we go. Now we have the vehicle. So this is just a little trick how you can do all kinds of customization to your networks.